Hey guys, my name is Chief Tiger, and uh, I'm making this video to show you guys a little experiment I've been doing in Unreal Engine uh, with the Vive. Uh, so, a while back I watched this video, I uh, can't remember the guy's name off the top of my head, but I'll link the video in the description where he uh, made a movement system by moving your arms instead of teleporting. And I just thought it was really cool, but it was a little lacking in the sense that it didn't feel like when I was watching it, it didn't feel like actual walking because you would you'd move your arm and when you hit the apex of your swing, you would stop. So it kind of felt like you were bobbing back and forth. So what I did was I kind of jumped in here and experimented it with it a little bit myself. And so I've got it to I've got it mapped to one hand, which is my left hand. That'll that'll be what I use for walking. And then this right hand is just a gun. Both these guns can shoot. It's just simple line traces right now. Um, nothing is destroyable except that sphere and it screams when you shoot it, so I'll uh, hold that off for now. But the the way to move is you hold in the grip button on the left controller and you just swing your arm. So you notice that was a pretty steady swing, kind of a normal walk. I'm still kind of experimenting with speeds that feel natural. So if I just swing my arm a little bit, it's going to give you a nice kind of leisurely pace and you notice I can walk or I can look around however wherever I want um, my headset uh, rotation is not affecting which direction I'm walking it's based on the direction the controller is facing so that's that's a normal slow walk and without changing anything uh, just holding in the same grip buttons and moving your hand faster you can move faster so here's the nice kind of slow walk and if I start picking it up I start moving ar around quite a bit faster and this is this is the max speed here and you'll notice while I was doing that slide thing I let go of the grip buttons so if you get going really fast and then let go of your grip buttons you kind of do the slide stop again that's still something I'm kind of toying with I don't know if that's better or worse for motion sickness or because I'm not really affected by it so it's kind of difficult to uh, figure that out but moving on um, I've also been kind of toying around with physics interactions so right now I've got it to where this, this shaded area is basically my collision box. So if I try to run into a wall, it's going to stop me at this box. And it's kind of sized to my play area. Uh, I don't know if you can see the chaperone bounds, but this is a little smaller than my play area. And so if I, this is a solid square as well. If I try to run into it, you'll notice I just kind of slide along it. Um, and those two props there are dynamic uh, physics objects, physics actors. So if I come up, you'll notice my I, my play area can slide underneath it. And I can, this this has a physical object, this doesn't. So, well, if I tap it with my gun, I can move it around. Or you'll see a bit of a log spam, I apologize for that. If I walk into it, I have a actual player physics physics object. So I can interact with these things. I can I can run into them and just push them with just my body. And when I get them up against the wall, I can walk into them, push them. Same thing with this sphere. I can run into it and then smack it while I'm running. And then shoot it. And then run and shoot it. So I've been having a little bit of fun with that. <laughs> Still don't know what I'm going to do uh, with this movement system. But smacking around objects is pretty fun. The last thing I wanted to show about this movement system is uh, how it works up slopes. So um, I've played a few games where the player kind of did weird interactions with slopes or like areas where it was like a farther distance down, it would make them like fall suddenly and you kind of got uh, disoriented from it. So my system works uh, with the play area when you hit a slope. The first part of your play area that hits the slope, that's, that's what sets your height essentially so you notice over here we're kind of levitating it's it's higher up off the slope than over here this is actually right on the slope so doing it this way it, it feels less disorienting because if you if you're using the actual walk method instead of trying to walk up a slope in a game while you're walking on a flat surface it feels a lot more I don't know natural I guess it doesn't feel as disorienting as the other one so that's that's kind of how it works on these. Of course, there are some issues with this. If I walk off the edge slightly, I get a section of my play area that hovers. So if I stand over here, I'm hovering. But uh, 
we can always implement something like rails along ramps to prevent people from going off the sides. Um, another thing you probably noticed about just the system in general is that if I use the play area, it limits the amount of narrow spaces you can put in your game. So like for instance here, if this was if right here between this square and that wall was a hallway, if I wanted to walk through it, obviously I can't because it's too small. Um, in instances like that, I'm probably going to go ahead and either do like something where you load into the next area and then just have everything designed where it can fit like the maximum size play space or make it to where there's a teleport for those small instances where you can't get through something and you want to. You can just kind of teleport yourself over there. Um, still all up in the air, but uh, that's pretty much it for the demonstration. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, if there's any improvements you think that I could make to it or uh, changes that you think would make it less uh, prone to motion sickness, I'm all game. Signing off. <laughs>